The abrupt end to the mission in Afghanistan has been especially painful for the Hoosier veterans who served there over the past 20 years. CBS 4's Justin Kolar spoke with one veteran to get his reaction and shows us how one Hoosier city is reaching out to vets tonight. It's a really um, tragic bookend to 20 years of, of sacrifice since 9-11. Um, and I, I fear that our time there will be remembered by this withdrawal. The withdrawal of forces several years in the making has veterans like assistant professor at Indiana University Andrew Bell wondering if anything else could have been done. The manner in which the uh, execution happened of the withdrawal um, is really quite unconscionable. Bell served in the U.S. Air Force. Images of Afghans crowding the planes he once worked with aren't easy to take. I'm familiar with the C-17s and seeing the images of, of the people clinging to the C-17s, it's, it is, um, it's quite striking. It's a, you know, it's a juxtaposition of, of American air power, but also the tragedy that's unfolding on the ground. A tragedy on the ground, both abroad and here at home. It's hard to know how to, how to help Afghanistan move forward. We, we aren't going to do it from fishers, but what we can do <laughs> is, you know, is make sure that that anyone who has been touched by this situation um, and who is struggling is aware of the resources for help. Monica Heltz with the Fisher's Health Department wants veterans to know they're not alone. If you're struggling, just talk to someone, you know, whether it be a faith, a faith counselor that you have or a mental health provider that you have, um, just talk, talk to someone. Hard to know exactly where to go from here. Veterans like Bell say looking ahead to tomorrow is a start. It's, it, it's not for naught. There wasn't a complete uh, loss of everything that we, we worked so hard for. Um, and we planted the seeds for hope for, for Afghanistan's future. You know, the story will go on. In Fishers, Justin Kolar, CBS 4 News.